This guitar costs 10 times as much as this guitar, but does it sound 10 times better? Let's find out. How's it going, you guys? My name is Cooper Greenberg here with the Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. Today, we are continuing a series of videos that I really enjoy doing um, in which we ask, can you hear the difference between a very expensive guitar and a less expensive guitar. I think um, we've done some videos in the past. There was a hotly contested Black Beauty video, which you can find the link for above. Um, and recently we did a video talking about expensive Stratocasters versus cheaper Stratocasters. Um, my coworker Chris did a video about Yamaha acoustic guitars. But today we kind of have a, a Mac Daddy of sorts in Martin. Um, this is a Martin 0042. And, uh, you know, we don't talk about price a ton. If you were to go find this on Martin's website right now, however, this would be um, a $5,999 guitar. And I chose its counterpart in the inexpensive range, um, the Martin Triplo One X, because it is, when it was available, $599. And I say that because this guitar has been discontinued by Martin. Um, this is actually a pre-owned guitar that we have in the store, so you can call us for pricing availability on both of these because they're both pre-owned guitars. However, they're in absolutely brand new, perfect condition. So uh, I would encourage you, if you enjoy either of these, give us a call or find them online because they're just great guitars. Um, this guitar has been succeeded by the 0002XE, I believe is the model number, and it is very similar. Got a few differences that I'll tell you about. Um, but we're basically talking $600 versus $6,000 um, and kind of wondering where that price discrepancy uh, kind of comes from. Is it in the specs? Is it in the sound? Is it where it's made? And it's probably, spoiler alert, a little bit everything. Um, but I'm going to start with the uh, 0042 and kind of run down some of the specs. Um, as you can expect from a Martin of this caliber, this is an all solid wood guitar. Um, spruce, uh, Sitka spruce on the top. Solid East Indian rosewood on the back and sides. Um, and this thing is uh, adorned in a lot of abalone. So it is very beautiful, very flashy. Um, you might be a little more familiar with like a 0028 or a 0035. This is a step up. This is truly a art piece of guitar. Um, it's got a solid mahogany neck. Um, these open geared tuners, which I've always been a fan of, they're very beautiful. Um, and you might be able to see right here or in some of the photos, it has this apex headstock, which is a little reinforcement. It looks cool. It feels cool. Um, it's something, you know, that you'll see on higher end guitars, higher end Gibsons, higher end Martins, just to add some stability and, uh, you know, reliability to that, um, headstock neck joint, you know, um, this neck profile on Martin's website, they describe it as a low oval. Um, to me, it feels very similar to like a soft V. Uh, very, very beautiful feeling guitar, beautiful sounding guitar. Um, like I said, the adornments and the appointments are kind of screaming luxury at you when you pick this guitar up. Very uh, beautiful glossy finish um, as opposed to the X series, which... Uh, We'll check out now. So this 0001X, like I said, has been succeeded by the 0002XE, but most of it is pretty much the same. So you're gonna have high pressure laminate back and sides, still Sitka spruce top um, without gloss as a satin finished guitar. Um, no binding, you're not gonna see much uh, aesthetic appointments other than this uh, rosette here. Everything else is pretty basic, pretty, no frills. This neck is not a solid neck. This is this, uh, I believe, kind of a Stratabond neck um, that I think is birch. I think that it's, I mean, you can see kind of the striations of the wood. It's a, in itself, somewhat of a high pressure laminate bonded neck. Um, that's not to say it's not comfortable. It's a um, satin finished neck. So I kind of prefer that over a glossy neck, but that's just me. Um, it does not have the open geared tuners like the other one does. These are just kind of the classic uh, Martin tuners um, that you'll find in their Made in Mexico guitars, which this one and along with the Road Series are Made in Mexico. 
And um, they're both triple O's. They both have the same scale length. They have the, uh, it's a 24.9 inch scale length, um, one and three quarter inch nut width. So when it comes down to it, they should kind of mirror each other in a lot of the kind of construction specs. But in terms of the materials being laminate versus solid wood, um, in terms of the aesthetic appointments and, um, you know, where they're manufactured. This is a um, American-made Martin over here with the 00042, this Mexican-made Martin. So all that stuff kind of goes into that price discrepancy. Um, being made in Mexico, a lot of their guitars that are a little more affordable under the $1,000 range, you're going to find uh, made in Mexico, even some above the $1,000 range. So um, without further ado, I'm going to play a little something on both of them. I'm going to try and do just some big open chords so you can hear the sustain and the resonance and just the overall rich tones from both of these guitars, and then just kind of have some fun, noodle around, play some leads, because that's what I like to do. But I know a lot of people love to hear those cowboy chords. A lot of people love to hear the leads. So I'm going to do a little bit of both. And uh, I want you to, you know, maybe put some headphones on or go through some bigger speakers and, you know, listen closely, see if you can tell the difference. And uh, then we'll talk about it after. So there you have it, you guys. There's a little sample on both of these guitars. And I would like to say before I kind of get into my verdict that while this guitar um, is not available from Martin, its uh, successor, the 0002 XE, is um, for a very good price. And it kind of hits all of the points that we outlined in a previous video for a step-up guitar. So uh, like I said, these are both the same scale length and nut width, but um, they both have scalloped X-bracing, and um, Chris and I both talked about 
in that video about step up guitars, which we'll link to. Um, scalloped X bracing is a very nice feature for a step up guitar. This one does not have electronics, but the successor that I mentioned does come with electronics um, for that price point of $599. Um, and when it comes down to it, it is a great guitar for the price. I had a friend recently kind of looking for a Martin acoustic guitar and was surprised to see that the 2XE that I mentioned was uh, made in Mexico and at that price range because you pick up this guitar, it still has, as you heard in the demo, a lot of that warmth, a lot of that rich character that you expect from Martin Triplo. Very comfortable guitar. However, I will say maybe 10 times is a bit much. And that has kind of been the story for all of these that we've talked about. Um, the Epiphone Black Beauty versus the Gibson Black Beauty, I believe that was a $799 versus $79.99 uh, price difference. That's absolutely ridiculous. However, the Martin 0042 that we have in the store right now that you heard in the demos is one of the best acoustic guitars that I've played in a really long time. I myself tend to go towards the 28 because I'm not a huge fan of the adornments, um, the flash, because it almost feels like it's for, you know, somebody rich and famous and um, that buys nice jewelry and creams and lotions. However, it is a fantastic guitar, and I do think if you're going to spend $6,000 on an acoustic guitar, it holds its weight in that category. Um, you know, that's a price that you might expect for a handmade boutique brand like Callings. Um, but Martin truly is the OG when it comes to steel string acoustic guitars. The 0042 is a fantastic guitar. And I would say if you're able, um, you know, even if you're jumping up from this guitar to a 0012, 0013, I do think that you pay for quality with Martin and you can see, you know, very honest steps between their series. You pay for what you get. The 0015 SM is a guitar that uh, Chris reviewed a long time ago and we get calls all the time because it's so uh, such in high demand. It's a beautiful guitar. If you can, try out this 42. Um, I really think that you will enjoy it regardless of whatever kind of player you are. It can handle anything the depth of the tone, and this one especially since it is a pre-owned guitar, it's had some time to break in. I believe the serial number denotes that it was a 2015 model. So it's got those first few years. It's strange to think it's coming on six years from then. Um, six years of being you know, broken in and warmed up. However, the previous owner kept it in impeccable condition. So you get the development and tone without, um, you know, a, a mark on it. It's it's pretty remarkable. Um, this guitar, however, like I said, this is a, a pre-owned model that we have right now in the store. It's on our website and you can check it out. You can also check out the uh, 0002 XE because it's a great choice for something under $1,000 from a great company like Martin. So there it is right there. Obviously, I'm going to prefer the 0042. I mean, I would, I would be absolutely lying to you if I said I'd rather have this guitar. I would take this guitar in a heartbeat. But the 0042, fantastic guitar. I'd love to hear what you think of it. So please let us know in the comments if you could hear the difference, if you could, what kind of tonal differences were there. Because, um, you know, from my end, I feel it. I can feel it in my hands. I can feel how solid rosewood vibrates differently than uh, HPL. It's a good feeling. It's a really, really good feeling. Um, I prefer the neck shape of that one. I kind of like that soft V, especially at that nut width. It kind of makes me feel a little closer to maybe like a slotted headstock, 0028, something like that, which is a, a favorite of mine. Um, but please let me know in the comments what you think. If you think I'm full of crap because this is 10 times as much and I'm getting allured by abalone, you're probably right to a certain degree. Um, but I really appreciate y'all watching. I thank you for your support. Um, we're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers. So if you can, and if you've watched this far into my diatribe about high-end Martins, please hit subscribe, turn your notifications on because we really, uh, we're trying to hit that number and we're trying to get these videos out to more people like you that enjoy them. So thank you for your support and uh, we'll see you next time.